Going. What's going on? What have you got in your mouth? What are you doing? <laughs> Hello, I'm Helen. And I'm Angie. And, and this... This is Mr and Mrs S review show. <laughs> okay. Go again, go on. Okay. Hello. I'm Helen. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> You wouldn't think it'd be that difficult to actually just say an intro that's just our names and what it is. Right. Go on then, go. Hello, I'm Helen. And I'm Andrew. And this is the Mr and Mrs S Review Show again. Yes. Sorry we've been away. He was ill. And then she was ill. And then I was bored. And then we were busy. Yeah, but we We're have, back. we are back. We are going to review Hacksaw Ridge today. We saw this quite a while ago, to be fair, but mm -hmm. it's still quite fresh in our mind. Yeah. Okay, so I will read the synopsis. Just well, right this time. I won't, I'll just adapt it because it's quite long winded and stupid long yeah, words. Yeah, just give them the gist of it. <laughs> So basically, his dad is an alcoholic and he served in World War One, and he's also violent and not a very nice person. So Desmond Das decides that he's never going to touch a gun, he's never going to be violent, he's going to be everything his dad's not, um, which causes a problem because he wants to enlist in World War Two, but he doesn't ever want to hold a gun. So he enlists as a medic. Um, comrades don't think he's a coward, they're unsympathetic and they bully him, but it all comes good in the end, basically. Mm. That sounds about right. On um, a massive battle on a ridge. Yes, hence the name. So, basically, when he does enlist, they go to Japan, don't they? Yes. It's, it's, the, the, I mean, the fighting scenes are just, there's just loads of them, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's very more... intense, it's very emotional, it's very powerful. Oh yeah. my goodness, we were both sat there like... But it's a very, very, very violent film, but yeah. very, very, very good. Like, I'd say it's up there, it's up there with the good ones. Hmm. It makes sense that it's violent, because it is depicting war, so it has to be. And because he's a medic... He's the one seeing everything happen. Yeah. It's also very, um, it's quite a religious film. Like this this main character, Desmond Dulce, he really, really believes in God. He believes that God talks to him um, and God's told him what to do with his life. Um, and you would think that that wouldn't be... That wouldn't work, but it really does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's really powerful. Well, it's a true story, isn't it? Yes, so, it is. We should have started with that. It's a true story. Yeah, but he he's decided he doesn't want to kill, basically, but he still feels like he should serve his country because yeah. at the end of the day, it's World War, yeah. and he feels that he should be a part of it. All of his friends have gone and enlisted... Yeah, his dad he, did it in World War One. Yeah, so his brothers, his brothers his brother did it yeah. as well. But yeah. because you know he doesn't want to kill, he doesn't want to pick up a gun. Everyone treats him like he's going to be a liability on the field, and they're yeah. all going to have to look after him. And actually, it doesn't kind of work like that. Does no, it? He's, he's being the medic. He saves lots of people, and it's like the story of of just how brave he was. Yeah, brave. And it's really, really powerful, isn't it? Really, yeah. really good. Yeah. We both really liked it. Which, I, to be honest, I, I didn't really know whether I was going to like it or not going in. You did, didn't you? you I did. You when I saw it. the trailer, I was like, yes, I'm seeing this. This is happening. Um, when Andrew watched the first half of the trailer, he was like... Because it's set in... It's quite, um, like, old it's country. And Andrew's not a massive fan of that sort of American way of life. So he yeah. thought it would be quite slow, quite boring, nothing would happen. And then the second half of the trailer, when all the, the, the it showed you all the action that was going to happen in the film, he was like, that looks really good. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. yeah, we're watching that. And there's an underlying love story, isn't there, of him yeah. and his... And his yeah, and he's just too warm to his character and her character. 
Um, They're really, both just really lovely, aren't they? Yeah, really yeah. well. Who plays him? I don't know. Probably no. should have looked that up beforehand. Let me find Andrew Garfield. Yeah, they were all fairly new, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. I've seen him before in something. He's I mean, been in a TV program. His dad was um, the uh, the agent from um, Matrix. I didn't know Matrix. No, I didn't. But yeah, so he's he, but his dad's his dad's just weird, isn't he? Because he's he's yeah. He's they don't have a he's... very good relationship. Yeah, and he's although a, they... he's an alcoholic and a bit violent. A bit violent. <laughs> um, yeah, and he's he's obviously seen things in the war. He's the World War One. Yeah. That affected him and made his relationships tainted and not work very well. Um, which is obviously true true in the sense that that happened. Yeah. With people. Yeah, yeah, and he saw like his best friend, you know, lose his legs and things like yeah, that. Yeah, that sort of thing. So yeah. it's all quite. You kind of, or well, as much as he shouldn't be like he is, you kind of appreciate why he is. Yeah, you kind of understand, quite empathetic in that yeah. sense. Um, so, yeah, so there's a bit, there's a scene in it where um, his dad comes through and his dad's needed. Um, so, obviously, his dad's not all, all a bad person, is um, the point I was trying to make. Yeah, yeah, so he's actually quite a good dad in the end, isn't he? Yes. He's a really lovely, like... Well, Actually. no, I wouldn't say lovely. No, like, it's a lovely moment when he finally comes Yeah, through. it is. It is a lovely like, moment. For, it's full of lovely moments. Because for a lot of the film, he's just... you just kind of like, well, you know, he's a bit of a shit dad and a bit of a shit person, really. Yeah. And then, you know, it kind of leads up to this one kind of moment where he's really lovely. And yeah, and he, he, he just it's, comes through. And it's and like, he's... you know, at the end of the day, yes, he's still their dad and he still wants the best for them, so... Yes, exactly. And actually, I remember like being surprised about the the general, the uh, the sergeant actor. Oh yeah, yeah. Because, he was yeah. really cool because normally he plays funny guys. Um, he is the person in the breakup. He's the he's the boyfriend in the breakup, and he's in. I oh, was in loads and loads he's of in stuff. Loads of films, yeah. Um and but he always plays quite funny people. Um but this was he was still quite a funny sergeant, wasn't he? Yeah. He gave everybody like nicknames to what their his first impressions of them, <laughs> which was quite funny. Yeah, that was quite funny. Um but yeah, so that was our review on Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah, if you liked it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and all of that stuff and the little bell and all of that so that you get our videos as soon as we upload them yeah and, and but more importantly make sure you leave us a comment comment let us know what you thought of the film yeah um and we can have a good old debate if that's what you want yeah give us some recommendations for films you'd like us to see and review as well because um you know we're, yeah. we're always going to the cinema and we always want to know what to watch next and uh we'll be back again soon yes thank you for watching bye bye Please give us a thumbs up. Don't I forget think... to subscribe. Sorry, and sorry, sorry. Stuff sorry, and sorry, she's sorry. <laughs> interrupting me again.